All right, let's do a refresher. I haven't did this out here in this on the gin pop in a while. So I'm gonna do it now. Uh, you know what, I should put Nori on something else. I know I keep changing her. I like, I actually like her with this shirt on. I just, I think I'm gonna take this diaper off though because I wanna be able to see her tummy. So I'm gonna leave her with the shirt on. And there we go. So cute. Um, this poor child ain't gonna never be matching in her life. But, <laughs> but some of the quick things I wanna tell you guys. Um, number one, if you got a silicone baby, no, I guess the uh, regular uh, KY is very good to use. Um, it's good to use because it ha it, it causes the, if I was to try to stick this pacifier in her mouth right now, it would take a lot of friction, a lot, you know, it could go in, but it'll all have to really work. But if I lube it up, and I know this sounds crazy, like, what are you talking about, honey? Um, I'll never forget the day I had to go in a store and buy KY, and there was a guy in the line. I got out the line in hopes that I didn't have to be by him, but then he, um, when I got back in the line, I still ended up being by a guy, and I was so embarrassed because... I had to get, you know, I was buying KY and, you know, people don't think you using it for other purposes, of course. And I was just embarrassed. I don't know. I guess this is the immature part of me. Plus, you know, he had a, like a sinister grin on his face. But anyway, needless to say, the KY will help it uh, pretty much slide right in. When these babies have a tongue, sometimes it's a little bit, you know, you kind of have to work around that tongue. Especially the kinds that flap up and down. That's why sometimes I could care less. I like the way they look. I love them. But when you're using a pacifier, <laughs> they kind of get in the way more than they, more than not. Because you got to kind of make sure you go on, on top of the tongue instead of under the tongue. And you want to make sure that you don't damage inside the mouth when they have those little floppy tongues um so yeah so that eased right in with the ky that's number one number two um i don't i i still feel like powdering a baby unnecessarily is not necessary i don't think it's a good thing no matter who powder you matte powder you're using um, people have gotten away from using baby powder and now they just recommend you use matte powder. But I feel like if the baby is not have any shine spots or like, t when I say tacky, like sticky, like glueish feeling, if they don't feel like that and they just, you know, just don't feel like silky smooth or whatever, I don't feel like you need to be powdering them. I know people be like, oh, it helps the clothes ease on. I, 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 I personally, that's their thing. I feel like I could put their clothes on without powdering them down. Um, she does have, you know, she has a smooth feel, but she's not like that silky swoop swoop feeling. And I felt some babies that have that really silky feel and I'm, I'm not opposed to it. I, I like that feel too. But, um, yeah, I think if they have like a little shine spot or something, then yeah, the matte powder kind of works really cool for that. And I can get that. Or if they're tacky, then of course, yeah. But if they're tacky, it's possible that they might need to be rematted. Um, but I personally, I know how that is as a collector. I don't want to be sending my babies out. Again, like I don't want to, once my baby's home, I don't really want to be sending them out, especially like, you know, I was watching um, Katie's video from My Little World and she was saying she had to send her, she didn't want to send her doll all the way back to Spain. I definitely wouldn't be doing that if I could avoid, not for like one or two little barely noticeable shine spots, like, you know, um, 
but um matting matting is is <laughs> that's a whole nother subject all by itself matting is not easy to people will be oh it's not that hard it's not this it's not that well if it's not that hard how come so many people mess it up <laughs> so <laughs> so anyway <laughs> um but yeah so back to the care of the baby so use something for the the, the pacifiers honestly pacifiers are cute i love them for props um i think they're amazing for like prop nice props i also think if the baby mouth is in an open position all the time i love pacifiers for those babies because it kind of it makes me feel like it relaxes the look of the baby sometimes so i'll tend to want them to have a pacifier in the mouth also if their mouth is in an open position the good part about that is too up oh, here it comes okay we got a plane or something going over but the the good part about if the mouth is already in an open position if i walk away and leave nori with her pacifier in her mouth for hours and hours or even over to the next day her mouth is already in an open position so it's not going to stretch it over open you know it's not going to make it you know stretch it babies like Jaden, who has a closed mouth that sculpted it with a closed mouth if i leave a pacifier in his mouth for an extended period of time it's going to make his mouth kind of gape open a little bit which is not the intent of the sculpt which is going to change the look of the mouth a little bit so I don't like doing that and I don't I don't even really give him pacifiers but if I wanted to it would be for a temporary basis um now if I was to take Jaden out because his mouth is closed I don't even feel like I need to put a pacifier in his mouth for that but let's say I had a scope that mouth was kind of slightly open and I wanted to I was taking him out I would put a pacifier in that mouth while I'm out because it's more passable that the baby fell asleep with the pass in the mouth and that's why it's not sucking no more but the mouth is not like just gaped wide open so um yeah but i wouldn't leave a pacifier in a closed mouth baby mouth for a long period of time um the other thing is um about the hair the hair people say oh silicone baby's hair they fall out it it it, it comes out it sheds it this and another um so does reborns um but I'm here to tell you that sometimes, and, and sometimes you just don't know, like, which hair is, like, more fine to the point where it just kind of, it might slip. But usually if you root it deep enough, like, you have to, like, kind of push a needle further enough in into the head. Um, you, I said this on some of my other videos in the chat box. You, you got to consider the fact that silicone is like glue. So inside that head is raw silicone. It's not matted or anything, so it's kind of like glue. Um, it, the, the silicone baby head cannot be glued or sealed. The hair cannot inside. But however, when that hair goes inside, it kind of sticks. So it, it doesn't slip out like what people think. You can still brush that baby hair, style that baby hair, and it doesn't slip out as much. As far as people saying, oh, they're putting all these plastic wraps on their babies when they covering them up and all that stuff. I personally think you might do more harm than good by putting plastic over your baby, especially over their face and their painting, because silicone can sweat with when heat, just the, the wrong amount of temperature or heat, and it sweats, and then that moisture and that plastic, I just don't think it's a good idea for the painting, especially, God forbid, if they didn't never cure that paint properly, you're going to have a mess, because I remember a collector a while back got a baby um, when I used to be doing that judge uh, um, thing that I used to do when it was drama court um, one of the cases that I got the lady received the doll it had the, the saran wrap around it um, when she received it and it uh, the box had got damaged and wet a little bit or whatever when she removed the saran wrap some of the paint came off um, so ever since then I've never been a fan of the saran wrap but I noticed that some people saran wrap their babies when they paint all that is their business and they say they haven't had a problem with it i get it that's fine it's me and my way i'm just telling y'all my way i put my babies on a on like they have like a little their little beds or display area i don't cover my babies up but i don't have any pets i don't have any cats i don't have any dogs and hopefully i don't have anything else running around in here that i don't know about but honey child listen <laughs> no i'm just like hopefully because i got my toddlers be sitting on the floor um but <laughs> <laughs> but um 
anyway, um, I don't, so I don't cover them up or anything like that. Uh, but I, I don't, I don't, I don't see nothing wrong with like putting a blanket, a soft blanket or like the, these, uh, Muslim type blanket type things. Like if you would, you know, these are fairly thin and if you draped one of them, cross them, if you want, if you were scared about dust or whatever, I can leave my babies out. Don't touch them forever. And they don't get that dusty sometimes in their eyes. I notice like Phoebe eyes will be a little dusty or something like that and inside like maybe their ears or the corner of their eyes. You can do one or two things. You could use wet a Q-tip and get in the eyes and in the corners or you could, you could rinse them off. And um, when I say rinse them off, I don't mean scrubbing them. You don't even need a washcloth to be honest. You don't need any type of soap or anything. Just rinse them off with water. Um, if the doll is properly cured, I don't see where that's a problem, but other people may beg the difference. So be it, it's their thing. Um, maybe just the silicones that I've had in the past were just maybe made more durable. They could sustain that type of care um, maybe once a year, twice a year. Um, but it's fun, actually, too. It's, it's a fun experience, but I definitely wouldn't be like bathing them every day type thing or rinsing them off every day. Um, but you know when you do and that's another thing uh, people i hate that people misconstrue about youtubers and stuff like that when i used to do my bathing videos i actually that would be like the one time that i rinsed them off and then i don't rinse them off for like six months or a year and then i got to the point where i would actually save the bathing clip of videos and i would reuse them and insert them in the day in lives and reuse the same bathing clips so people like to judge and say, oh, that's because you see this on YouTube and all this stuff. Well, it's entertainment purposes or whatever the case may be. But anyway, that's a whole nother subject for a whole nother video. Um, so yeah, so don't bathe with soap and all that. You definitely don't lotion your babies. Powder only if absolutely needed. Um, but it's your baby. So if you enjoy it to powder them, by all means, it's your money. Do Treat it how you want to. Um, the other thing is make sure you use lubricant when you're, and it's KY Jelly Original. Don't use no scented, no warming gel, no, um, Vaseline KY, original KY gel. That's the best to use to be problem free. Um, try not to force a pacifier in the mouth. Some people squeeze the jaws a little bit so they'll open the mouth up, but don't, some people, Back in the day, I used to see people pull the tongue, the not the tongue, the chin down. Don't do that. Be careful. Don't do that because you may actually, like, tear the sides if you're too forceful. Silicone is very durable, but there's also, like, a, some thin areas or weaker points. And usually when you see something ripped, it's been kind of cut or it already had, like, a tear in it. And you kind of just furthered it. Furthered it. <laughs> Girl, you ain't go to school. <laughs> okay, but um, but yeah. So okay, dressing the babies, you want to pull the clothes over the baby. Try not to like drag the clothes across them. Try to stretch the clothes out when you slide the hands through. I don't always have to put on hand mitts to dress my babies. I hold their hands, their fingers, so I can feel them because I feel like I have more control than you know that. So I don't go pulling out the plastic bags and the hand mitts and all that stuff which it's okay if you do and you feel more comfortable with it that's your thing um diapers <laughs> i use disposable diapers i leave them on them uh, for certain periods of time i do actually change my p diapers probably more than the average person because i do change their diaper normally every time i change them but not always um nori's been wearing this one since she was born which she's probably only like 24 hours old um so that's not a long time but it feels like a long time because I've changed her clothes a couple times and she still got that diaper on but these diapers are again those ones that I bought for like $50 a pack she gonna wear it until it gets unwearable um I will take it off and you know whatever I think when you're using cheap diapers with all this dye and color in it I would be leery of those I would not leave them on them for an extensive period of time 
Because, like, see, what people do is they take one isolated incident, something happened to somebody, and then they blow it up and say, oh, this happens to your dogs. You better be careful, blah, blah, blah. And it be a circumstantial, isolated incident. Um, she doesn't have a drinking wet. Some of my other babies have a drinking wet. If you have a drinking wet, I advise you not to use nothing but water. But, hey, so be it if you, you use you know, formula and all that stuff. That's your dollar. If you want it to be funky, let it be funky because that's your thing. Um, but maybe give it a little bottle of uh, alcohol afterwards to kind of try to sterilize it as much as possible. But water alone, I think your dog will be fine as long as it's coming out. I don't think it's going to like mold or mildew and all that stuff like people say. And if, if you're scared, put a little alcohol in. Now here's the key. If that pain ain't cured properly the alcohol gonna take some of that paint off when you get on that new new um so but you can give it the alcohol and you know alcohol makes the water gonna dry up evaporate quicker so um yeah a lot of people be like distilled water girl i ain't finna go out and buy no distilled water girl that water the same water come out that faucet that's what's going in that <laughs> going in that bottle i ain't even finna lie to y'all i ain't finna tell y'all that lie that's that's what they having serious and i haven't had an issue with it um what else uh so we went over drinking wet um shine spots hair again like i said the hair it is not able to be sealed don't be combing it with no whole you know using your brush and your comb on their head you know be gentle but i'm just as gentle with my reborn so that's never like an issue for me um, in fact, my baby's hair don't get combed that often, neither do my real hair, but <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about that either, don't judge me. Um, that's why I don't ever show my head on camera. No, seriously, but seriously, uh, I don't because a lot of times when most of my babies usually I'll be kind of like di directionally rooted, so you can kind of like swoop it with the fingers or something like that, so you don't, it's not you don't have to do a whole lot in place i feel like babies hair don't ever be like so neat and crisp and in place although i do love the look um if my baby hair get a little messy it's just more realistic for me so i don't i don't bother it every single time um hats i like hats um sleep and putting your babies on satin pillows i don't think it's gonna hurt i don't think it's necessary either um i've got a baby here that's nine years old She's never slept on a satin pillow a day in her life. Uh, I've never tied her hair up. I've never put plastic on her. Her pain is still intact. She's a reborn, of course. Um, but her hair has not broken off. It's still the same. Every now and then when I do do it, I do, you know, spray it down. A little bit of fabric softener and water, if anything. Or you can use a tad bit of conditioner and water. Just, just because. Um... Human hair, I, I am still learning to deal with that, but I do put a little tad bit. I did put a little bit, a tad bit of um, moisturizer in one of my baby's head. Not a lot, but just just a little bit in the bottle of the water. But that's, I don't believe that these babies need to be having no coconut oil and all this stuff because this this is paint. And you put these oils in it, lifting up the paint. I just don't, I don't trust it because it can run down on the paint. And I don't know, I paint my baby scalp, so I don't even want scalp to be messed up or nothing like that. So I just, I really stick to water, to be honest. If anything, I might put a, a little bit of fabric softener in it. But this is mohair, so fabric so softener makes sense. It leave it crisp, it detangles it. Um, so... What else? Um, um, yeah, that's about it. I don't, like I said, I don't think that silicone babies are um, always going to be like so super perfect. But I do think some people work is more crisp than others. And, you know... Some are more detailed, some are more, um, 
you know, it is what it is. Some are, you know, they use different, we all use different matting powder. We use different paints. Some people, you know, paint with different, you know, different things, you know. And so you want to get different results, but you got to find what you like. And, you know, um, I would say there is no right and wrong way, but there's definitely got to be a wrong way to do things when it comes to technique dealing with this medium because if not you know you can it, it'll, it'll change the quality of the baby or whatever just like the poor of the kids I'm very particular about who I buy my kids from because if they're not using high quality uh, silicone or material or they're pouring with tin silicone or whatever those tin silicone babies people that's pouring with that tin silicone your doll is going to fall apart just ask people that's been in the community for a while over a couple years you don't even have to touch that doll there was a lady that was pouring with tin silicone and people dolls arms and legs and toes was just falling off with them in the glass cases on the shelf so there's that so i try to deal with reputable um silicone pours and stuff like that if i get any type of inclination or gut feeling that when I'm working with a particular doll that it's not, you know, platinum silicone or whatever, I, I won't touch it again. Um, so there's that. Um, you know, a lot of people like to cut corners and save costs, but I don't, I, don't, I don't like it when it's at my expense and, you know, you're taking away from the quality. So anyway... But other than that, you know, I just feel like these dolls are very enjoyable, just like my Reborns. I really have fun with my silicone babies. I, I wouldn't lie to you guys. Um, you know, I do love my, my Reborns. I love the fact that they're a little less expensive. I love that, you know, I don't worry about, you know, I can, you know, I can pick them up and if I, if. If the arm come off, I could put it back on, on the reborn silicones, not so much. <laughs> Look at a little wobbly self. Um, so, yeah. <sighs> That's that. And this little, I love a little belly, a little belly belly. It's not, you know, I noticed, like, it's more squishy right here. Like, it's not the whole belly. Yeah, it's like right there. It's like so squishy. I don't know. Did y'all see that? No, y'all probably didn't. Anyway, it's really squishy. But I just love that it push out. I think her silicone is so soft. Um, well, not so soft. It's not like gummy, gummy soft. It's it's really, it's soft enough. And I think it's a nice consistency. I just, I like holding her. I love babies that have decent sized heads. Because I think it makes a big difference when you pick them up. And you feel that, that weight of the head and stuff. So anyway, this has been a long video. I have to get back to work. I've did all the videoing that I can do for the day. And um, yeah, just just really hope that you guys enjoy the video. And if you're new to being a silicone mom, enjoy it. Um, play with your doll. Don't, I mean, if that's what you tend to do. If you wanna put it on a shelf, put it on a shelf. But don't not play with it just because you're afraid because people are scaring you. I think you know when you're being gentle with your baby and, you know, what look like it might be a problem, you know. But, yeah. Anyway, that is it. Bye-bye.